Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this creative typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks. And if you want to learn more about logo animation, motion graphics, and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as main animation width. I'm going to choose 1920 and height 180. Frame rate is 30. Duration is 30 or let's say one minute long. And background color. We are going to choose red color for now and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles affection. Now press Ctrl N and we are going to call this comp as strip and simply hit OK press ctrl k again to open the project settings and over here height i am going to choose 200 and simply hit ok then press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok and we will lock this layer just for now then we are going to choose a rectangle tool we will delete this fill we don't need any fill and simply double click to create this kind of rectangle now go to the rectangle one rectangle path and unlink this size and over here we are uh, in x axis we are going to type minus 50 like this and on y axis over here we are going to do minus 40 so we'll get something like this now minimize this stuff then select our text tool and we are going to type our text i'm going to type motion graphics and select black color for this text and we are going to type spacebar and dash again uh, we are going to type motion graphics now select this text press ctrl alt home uh, go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and let's create the scale like this now select this text layer and hit ctrl d select the second layer press p for position create one keyframe zoom in go to around four second and we will move this out of this composition somewhere around like over here okay now at this point i'm going to select this layer over here and i'm going to make it apparent with the second one now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it so after that we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop okay now select both the layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text animation and hit ok select the shape layer hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top and over here in fill i'm going to add color and select our text animation comp and we will choose alpha matte so we are getting this kind of animation now let's uh, uh, delete the lock layer on it uh, now select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text strip and hit ok now double click uh, i mean ctrl d to duplicate it select this first layer uh, go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to apply uh, cc split effect on it like this and double click to apply uh, like this select the second layer and apply tint effect on it double click to apply and choose swap this color okay and so we have one layer with this and one layer with this now select this first layer and we will increase the uh, split value to somewhere around 40 like this and select point a over here and let's uh, not this word but point b and let's move this out of this composition like this and move this point a over here which is this one you can easily grab this over here and move this over here and create one point a over here and hit u go to around four second and let's move this from here to here like this so if you see this animation you will get something like this okay now let's go to around two second and let's move this point from here to here so we are getting something like this now uh, select this text uh, strip select this split cc split and hit ctrl c select this layer and hit ctrl v hit u select this uh, and let's move go over here and let's move this 
over here okay uh, now I select this first layer hit ctrl D and let's bring this downwards and we will delete this CSS split effect so now if you see we'll get first this and then this okay and at this point I'll hit N so what will happen we will get this animation continuously like this now select this first layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply and increase the distance to 40 and increase the softness to 100 like this and also increase the opacity 200 now select this uh, layer and instead of black color we will choose a grayish color over here so we can easily see the drop shadow let's change the opacity to 50 only now select this drop shadow and hit ctrl c select this second layer and hit ctrl v like this okay and hit u okay now go to the main animation and hit ctrl 0 and let's bring this strip over here like this now go inside this uh, hit u and as you guys can see we will get something like this now right click go to the trim com to work area to up to this go to the main animation and press ctrl alt t to get this kind of time enable remapping we will create one keyframe over here and we will delete this second layer let's alt click on this stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this so we will get this kind of animation continuously now select this go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for uh, let's search for mesh warp effect and double click to apply and let's uh, decrease the rows to zero and columns to four like this now select this and this point and let's bring this over here like this and select this and this point and let's bring this over here like this now select this point let's bring this like this select this point and let's bring this like this okay select this point and we'll bring like this select this point and we'll bring it like this then we will select this one and we'll bring it like this and select this one okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of strip animation now select this and go to the quality and we are going to make it 10 okay so we'll get a good quality of animation now select this hit ctrl d press s and unlink this scale and let's make this minus 100 okay so we will get this kind of stuff now right click go to the reveal reveal layer in source project select this strip and hit ctrl d by holding alt i am going to replace this layer go inside this over here uh, select all of them and press s let's unlink this and let's make it minus 100 minus 100 this one also minus 100 this one also so if you see over here we are getting something like this but i want this animation in opposite direction so i'll go inside this in uh, uh, over here we have the strict strip com hit ctrl d to duplicate it in composition select all of these layers and by holding alt i'm going to replace it go inside this hit u or uh, we have this text animation comp over here select this text animation hit ctrl d and by holding alt i'll replace this also go inside this hit u and all you need to do select those keyframe right click keyframe assistance time reverse keyframes so now as you guys can see this animation is going in opposite direction okay so we are getting this kind of animation like this 
and if you want a little bit alternation so uh, in animation so you can move this up to this also so you will get this little bit of alternations in the animation like this okay then press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this backward like this select this first layer go to the effect and presets panel search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply let's increase the distance to 20 and softness to 100 like this let's increase the distance a little bit let's say up to 100 over here and decrease the opacity to 20 select this drop shadow effect hit ctrl c select this hit ctrl v like this so you will get this kind of effect over here okay now we need to create pupils over here so hit ctrl n and we will call it as i and width i'm going to choose 1080 height also 1080 now over here i'm going to select my rectangle uh, i mean ellipse tool let's delete this stroke and we will choose white color for this fill uh, and simply double click to create this kind of rectangle now i'm going to select my rectangle tool i mean ellipse now i'm going to select my rectangle tool and i'll choose different color and double click to create this uh, rectangle i mean square uh, sorry and simply select this and let's bring this somewhere around over here okay now select this ellipse over here and choose alpha mask like this now select this two layers and hit ctrl d select this ellipse and choose alpha inverted mask now select this and let's bring this downwards somewhere around like this select this layer and let's move this upwards somewhere around like this okay now again double click to create one ellipse so choose black color and double click to create ellipse press s and let's decrease the size somewhere around like this and over here hit ctrl d press s and decrease the scale and choose a grayish color select this hit ctrl d press s and decrease the size and choose black color select this hit ctrl d press s and let's decrease the size and choose white color and simply uh, move this somewhere around like this okay now right click new and create one null object select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null select this press s and try to adjust the scale properly like this okay now uh, let's delete this null object now select all this uh, four layers which is behind press ctrl shift c and we will call it as bg i and hit ok press s uh, unlink this create one keyframe over here go somewhere around one second create another keyframe and in middle of that let's make this zero select those keyframe and hit f9 so if you see we will get this kind of animation by holding alt i am going to move this over here okay go to around two second let's copy the this keyframe ctrl c ctrl v let's go around four second create another keyframe and alt click on the stopwatch uh, and type loop out expression on it like this okay now select all of this pupils press ctrl shift c and let's call it as pupil select this bgi hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top select this pupil and we are going to choose alpha mask okay like this now select if you see we will get this kind of stuff now uh, select this bgi and hit ctrl d select this hit enter and only call it as bg we will delete those keyframe we don't need them anymore now select this go to the effect and presets and apply fill effect and double click to apply and we are going to choose grayish color for it so it will look like the bg now go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and we will bring our eye comp over here let's go to the start and uh, press s and let's scale it like this and try to adjust over here like this hit ctrl d and let's try to move this over here okay. 
go to around four second and hit n so now if you see this we will get this kind of animation over here now right click new and create one null object select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null select this null and let's decrease a size okay so we will get this kind of stuff okay and if uh, you want to create another form of loop so what you can do let's hit ctrl z and we will delete this in a object also let's select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as animation okay now go inside this animation and we know this animation is uh, going to be in the loop format at four so i'll right click and trim come to work area then i'll go to the main animation again i'm going to press ctrl alt t to enable time enable remapping and i'm going to create one keyframe over here and we will delete this keyframe alt click on this stopwatch and we will type loop out expression over here so after this also this is going to be continuously in the form of loop now select this animation and hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's go to around let's say eight second over here and hit n go to the start select this layer press p for position create one keyframe go to around eight second and we will move this from here to somewhere around over here okay and let's go over here we will select this animation layer at this point we will make it apparent with this one okay so what will happen we will get this animation like this press f4 let's enable this icon so we will get this proper shadow over here it will take a little bit time to load this animation but final output would gonna be somewhere around like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects and you can go inside this and if you see this i1 over here uh, you can go around two seconds over here and simply select this i uh, and uh, let's trim this comp up to this select both of this i comp uh, and go to the start and let's bring them over here and let's increase the duration so we will get a little bit difference over here or instead of that uh, let's keep it as it is so otherwise we will get some mistake over here so yep this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects